Welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new season of Ooh. Time to Football. Here we are in the brand new renovated Time to Football studio. Look at this place. Look at this place. You hear a voice right now, but I'm not going to introduce him just yet. Instead, I'm going to introduce myself first. My name is Hassan Khan, the host of this channel that we like to call Time to Football. Ten years we've been doing this channel, and now this is the 10th season where we're going to be talking about the NFL, mm. as well as fantasy football, is on a new channel. So for you guys that have su subscribed just for fantasy football, make sure you guys go over to T2F Fantasy Football. Check us out on there for your fantasy football content. But this one is going to be about player interviews. It's going to have a podcast. We're going to talk about the NFL in general, which teams are the best in the NFL. And we're going to give our NFL predictions as well. But joining me right now is a good friend of mine. Actually joined us for an episode of Time to Football back uh, like two years ago, it was during yeah. COVID, man. Like, yeah. you know, cause we have to, we, we stayed six feet apart. Absolutely. I don't, yep. We sure did. Cause yeah. we're safe. Yeah. We're exactly. safe. <laughs> this is Anthony DuVernay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Yo. Anthony, thank you for taking the time to be here. Oh man. I appreciate it, brother. I'm just, I'm just grateful to be here next to you. You know, I read something one day that hmm. said that, um, all men are created equal. Yeah. And I really struggle with that when I think about you, brother, because you were just, you're just here. You know what I'm saying? This man right here is your mentor's mentor. Wow. Okay. Dude. And I'm just glad to be part of this, my brother. Thank you for calling me. <laughs> wow. What an introduction. <laughs> this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of love here on the show. You're going to see a lot of uh, NFL debates as well. Mentorship. Yep. Mentorship. I like that. Yeah. We're going to be talking about mentorship in uh, in this episode of Time to Football, talking about veterans, talking about rookies, talking about teams that are already experienced that could make the postseason, but then also some young teams that maybe have a chance of dethroning their division rival. But the NFL season kicks off here this Thursday between the Bills and the Rams. I know that this was in the show notes, but I want to go ahead and ask you, do you have a preference on who you think is going to win that game? Man, um, I love the Bills. I love the Bills because I love Josh Allen, okay? That's the man right there. But as much as I love them and as much as I want to see them pull through every year, the Rams are going to take it. Really? The Rams are going to take it. I, I think they're going to take another Super Bowl, actually. But we're going to get there when we get there, okay? <laughs> they may okay. not put the cart before the horse. You feel me? So I feel you on that. I mean, well, I mean, I disagree with some things. The Rams, Matthew Stafford is dealing with some elbow problems right now. I don't know if okay. you heard about this okay. or not, but it, they were saying it's not like a short term. It could be like a duration throughout the whole entire season kind of deal. No Odell Beckham as well. Um, but, I mean, the Bills, you know. Odell, Bills. Was he was injured during the Super Bowl. He was. I mean, as much as we love the guy. No, yeah. I mean, he grabbed a touchdown before he uh, tore his ACL, which is Man. heroic. -ous. He He has, like, the coolest hair, too. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know. Never know uh, what you're gonna get. Right now, he's going through like a just a normal. Or did he go back to the oh. Odell look? No. I have no idea. Um, but anyways, on the show, we're gonna be talking about who we think is going to win every single division. Let's go ahead and start with that. Okay. Our prediction on who's gonna win each division: NFC North, South, East, West. Let's then start. AFC North, South, East, West. I'll start with you. We'll just go back and forth between okay. each division. Let's start with the NFC North. What is your prediction on the North? I'm going to go with the Packers. I'm going to go with the Packers. Um, let's see. This could be Aaron Rodgers' last year. And just like every other year, he has something to prove. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think, Aaron, uh, I think uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are going to take it. Even though I won't be surprised if like the Detroit Lions – Wow. I, I'm not saying they're going to win, okay, or take the division. Okay. But I will say, don't be surprised if they shake things up. I mean, they just got uh, Hutchinson, right? So they got really young talent on the defensive end. And so I'm looking forward to see what the Detroit Lions will do. You've been watching a lot of hard knocks recently, I can tell, just uh, with Dan Campbell and his energy that he brings to the team. No. Uh, I'm with you on the NFC North. That is going to be the Green Bay Packers. I think a mm -hmm. lot of people are, are already in that boat where let's write them off. They're not going to do anything. Who's mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers going to throw to? Well, his entire career, it's just been Devontae Adams pretty much. Yeah. Like you had a sprinkle of uh, 
you know, Robert Tunyon. Uh, I mean, back in the day, he had great players like Greg Jennings, Donald Driver, all those guys. But uh, recently, I mean, they've been doing a lot. And I think they actually won a game last year against the Arizona Cardinals where Devontae Adams was hurt. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think their second guy as well. Marquez Valdez Scantling was hurt as well. So they didn't have a lot of receivers. They just threw the ball 11 times to Aaron Jones, the running back. Um, they just get it done. And for Matt LaFleur, the head coach, to make it to the NFC Championship for three straight years when people are like, you're not improving the team, you're not helping Aaron Rodgers out, you're not drafting weapons, you're not signing anyone, and they still make it to the Final Four, I mean, it's got to be the Green Bay Packers. So mm. I'm with you on that. Okay. Um, what about the NFC South? NFC South. Don't, don't like it's difficult. NFC don't do that. South. You already know. I'm, I can't say that. I can't say that. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm excited to see what the Falcons do. They had a quick little rebuild, right? They did. A little. Uh, still going through it. Not over. True. You lost Julio. Yeah. That was rough. Matt Ryan's gone. Yeah. It's pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> what? So why do you? I can't. I can't get myself to say that. Yeah. I mean. It's tough. Jameson like, just got eye surgery, so I mean, I'm. <laughs> but, yeah, well, <laughs> wow, you were keeping up with the littlest of details. The littlest, <laughs> thing, I, like, listen. Oh, he got eye surgery. Bet he's good now. He's good now. 2020, bro. 2020. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> so the Saints. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Who that? So is it because of the offense, the defense? Like, what? What do you think is like the best the, part? Their offense for sure. Okay. Offense still got Kamara behind. Yeah. Is Hill? I'm not sure. Is it this no, guy? No, Hill's, Hill's a tight end now. Like, they converted him. He was Sean Payton's guy, then Dennis Allen comes in, and... Dude. <laughs> that, that's killing me. He's a running back, he's a quarterback, and now he's a tight end. I remember uh, when we last shot this show, you were the guest. We were talking about uh, Jalen Hurts being drafted, and you were like, Carson oh, yeah, Wentz yeah, yeah, and yeah. Jalen Hurts is equivalent to Breeze and Hill. And actually, that TikTok that I posted got like 60,000 views. It was the most watched TikTok okay. on my yeah. Just and you I'll, saying that's the next I mean it didn't happen. It didn't happen. But I was, I was, my predictions were wrong there. So it's okay. Jalen okay. Hurts, <laughs> he's a full on Breeze and Hill. I don't yeah. know as talented, but we'll see. Uh okay, so the Saints, I mean that's definitely a runner up for me. And yeah. I could actually see it happening. I'm still going to have to stick with the Bucks yeah. with this. I mean it's just Unless something happens, I know that Tom Brady's been taking vacations and, you know, you ask yourself, okay, him coming back, is his heart really in it? I know for Tom Brady, that's kind of like questioning, okay, well, you can't question the guy's heart. Absolutely. He's made a career proving people wrong, showing off his heart and his grit. But that is the only thing that I could see being wrong for the Bucks is if Tom Brady is not like fully 100% in it. Yeah. You know, which... I mean, do you think that could be a possibility? I mean, from what I heard, he's talking about balling until he's 50. And I, I, I just don't know. Like, we're still young, but we're getting older, right? And I can tell you, oh, I still feel young, but my bones are screaming, no, we're not. Like, we're not still young. And I feel like this year, we're going to hear Tom Brady's bones show their age. You're speaking for yourself at the ripe age of what is it, 27? 28. 28. Brother. Dude, that's that's when it All goes I'm downhill. Saying, my my back hurt. My I got knee issues that I'm working on. So Yeah. I no. <laughs> I just, I'm twenty nine. So you know, thirty is the because your body knows yeah. age, obviously. Like thirty, the day you turn thirty, it's gonna be rough. Um but yeah, I'm gonna have to stick with the Buccaneers. Um, even though they lost some pieces on defense. Lost Chris Godwin. They did, and Chris Godwin's going to be out for maybe a month. I don't know. Not sure yet, but I'm still going to have to stick with the Bucks. Yeah. Uh, what about the NFC East? I thought you wanted me to say the Falcons. No. no okay. Th- listen, That's- we're, this show is filmed in Atlanta, so we are – actually, Anthony has emceed for the Atlanta Falcons a couple yes. times. Yes, so. I have. That was a great experience. That was That's awesome. Um, but back when they were kind of good. In the Super Bowl year, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, it was, but it was good times, man. It was good times. It was good times. Uh, the NFC East, 
I'm gonna stick with my team. I'm going with my G men. Uh huh. You heard okay. it right here first. Ooh, Danny Giants. Dimes. Giants. Danny okay. Danny Dimes. Let's go. Even with Pigeon Toe Jones, we gonna go all the way. I love it, Pigeon Pigeon Toe Jones. My man tripped in the open field. I'll never forget that Jones. But he's he's got wheels. He's he got does. wheels. Now call him White Wheels. Really? Yeah. Not Hot Wheels. No. White you wanna, Wheels. You want to bring race into this? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay. oh, never mind. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Well, if you want to bring race, it's going to be a race between the uh, Eagles and the Cowboys, I feel like, between who's going to win the NFC East. My prediction is going to be the Cowboys. Now, why do you say the Giants? Is it just because Just because I'm a fan. Just because you're a fan. If I wasn't a fan, I would have to go with the Cowboys, unfortunately. But they're, they're just, they're not closers. They choke constantly over and over and over again. Yeah, I don't know if you remember the, uh, was it the wild card or the divisional round? I think it was the wild card. Uh, Cowboys and 49ers when they were coming back and Dak needed to spike the ball. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, that's. I think we were a, watching that game together. I think we were. Maybe. I, we were. I don't know. I watched Possibly. a lot of games with a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that was crazy. The time management there was very poor. Yeah. Very I don't know poor. what was up. I don't. I think Mike McCarthy had a plan and then no. I don't know what happened. But, I mean, if they won that game, then all of a sudden you could be talking about maybe the Cowboys could have won the divisional round. Maybe they made the NFC Championship. Mm-hmm. I think they're still a very talented team, even though they lost Amari Cooper. Michael Gallup's going to be out for maybe two to four weeks or so. But yeah, the West. The West. That's the West. The West. The Rams all day. Mm. Rams all day. Even though you're talking about uh, Stafford's tennis elbow. <laughs> I don't know if it's tennis elbow. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Tendinitis, <laughs> tennis, something. It's, it's all the same. I just feel like he's going to come back. He's going to come back and do his thing. Mm-hmm. Do another uh, repeat. And, yeah, the Rams are going to take it. I've got the Rams as well. But I'm trying to think of competition that could dethrone. I know the Cardinals, you never know what you can they're, expect from them. The Seahawks fine. are. Yeah. I say Seahawks will be a close Really? With no rust? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, let me correct you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll edit this part out. Maybe. Maybe. I forgot Seahawks lost Russell. Yeah. These maybe not. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, but yeah, the Cardinals, the Seahawks, and the 49ers who made it all the way to the there you go. NFC Championship. I mean, this never know what to expect with Kyle mm-hmm. Shanahan. They didn't expect them to go that far. But I am with you that it is going to be the LA Rams. Before we get into the AFC and talk about the projected division winners, I'm going to take a moment to talk about Manscaped. Guys, football season is upon us. It's about to be fall pretty soon. That means that cooler weather is about to be coming here pretty soon. But the cold weather shouldn't be an excuse to not upkeep with your look. You should be doing that all the time. Call yourself a blue-collar worker because you've got pipe to lay. Manscaped has dropped the Lawnmower 4.0 for all your grooming needs. Its skin safe technology will leave your boy smooth and won't nick a bit. I actually have the 4.0 right here. You can hear the good vibrations running my finger across it. Ooh, so smooth. Not bleeding, not at all. Now I have debris on my finger. Ugh. Use the promo code T2F to get a discount. The link is also in the description. Now let's transition over to the AFC. Talking about our division winners. Uh, North, with the reigning AFC champions, the Cincinnati Bengals, do you think that they repeat as division winners? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, I got all that LSU chemistry on the offensive side. The dynamic duo. You got Chase. You got Burrow. Okay? I mean... And as much as I want Lamar Jackson to pull through, like I really like him. He's exciting to watch ever since Michael Vick, I would say. But um, there are contenders, but I think I think the Bengals are going to blow him out. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people may agree that the Bengals, them getting to the Super Bowl last year was extremely rare, given the fact yeah. that the year prior – they were one of the worst teams in the NFL. Terrible. And people are, are 
already writing them off being like, hey, they're going to regress just because, you know, the last year they weren't supposed to make the Super Bowl. Um, they had a string of games where you could say we're pretty close and it's like, okay, that could have gone either way against the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game and a lot of other games like that as well. Um, but I am going to have to stick with the Bengals because I still believe that they're improving and they're getting better. Um, are they going to make the Super Bowl? I don't know. There's some pretty tough competition, especially in the AFC West. So some people think that the Bengals didn't deserve to go to the Super Bowl. Did I hear that correctly? Not deserve because they, they won. Like, they did their job. Like, yeah. if you win, like like the New York Giants back in 2007. Let's, you know, let's talk about like, it. Yeah, let's, but, let's, <laughs> let's talk about that for a second. It, I mean, right. they, they were a little bit more of an, <laughs> yeah. an, of an underdog. Um, mm -hmm. But they still deserve to win because they beat the Packers, they beat the Cowboys, and they beat the undefeated Patriots. But looking at it in a perspective, it's like they weren't, like, the best team on paper, if that makes sense. Uh, for the Bengals, they're obviously much better than mm -hmm. the 07 Giants. I still think that they are going to repeat as a division winner. Are they going to make the Super Bowl? I mean, with other teams like greatly improving, like the Chargers, and it's it's going to be tough. I, I, I always go back to those AFC West teams, and, I mean, okay. the competition just got a little bit tough. But I, I still have them winning the AFC North. Uh, what about the AFC South? The AFC South is trash, but I'm going to go with the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well said. I'm a, well put. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Colts because I think Matt Ryan is going to pull a Matthew Stafford and show what the Falcons are missing out on. I 100% agree with you that I don't know why the Falcons decided that it was time to get rid of Matt Ryan because they still got to pay his contract a little bit. Mm-hmm. They only got a third round pick out of it, but I mean, it's the Colts for me as well. You think you, they should have kept on rebuilding around him? <sighs> it's a tough question. Eventually, they should have moved on. Was this the year to move on? I mean, a lot of people would have said maybe it was last year, maybe it was the year prior. But given the contract, it was just so tricky. And I think the way the contract works is. If they waited one more year, mm -hmm. then they would have saved a little bit of money. Um, given that like Matt Ryan would be playing this year and you might have a shot. But them trading him is pretty much like, okay, they traded him because they were pursuing Deshaun Watson. But then also they were like, okay, we got to eventually get rid of this guy. We already burned that bridge. That would have been amazing. I, really? There's a lot of people that say that's not amazing. No. I mean, like in, in the... I will, I will admit, as a Falcons fan, when that was all going on, mm -hmm. I was on Twitter all the time. It was between the Saints and the Falcons and the Browns. Oh, gosh, who's the other team? Panthers. Panthers got written off. Then the Browns, Saints, and the Falcons. Yeah. And uh, I have a buddy that's a Saints fan. Sean Landry, if you're watching, um, you know, shout out to you. But we were going back and forth like, oh, no, Deshaun's going to go to the Saints. And I was like, no, Deshaun's going to the Falcons. And we were actually rooting for it because we got so caught up in, like, the hype of Deshaun Watson being the quarterback of our yeah. team. Um, and then looking back at it, it's like, yeah. we dodged a bullet, man. For like, real? I 11 games suspended. You're paying, what, $230 million guaranteed now for Deshaun. The Browns are. I mean, that's it's kind of rough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. But – now, the Matt Ryan-led uh, Colts are going to do some amazing things. Jonathan Taylor, as well, we know, is one of the best backs in the NFL, young backs is, at least. Um, and so I think I think the Colts get it. Now let's transition over to the AFC East. A um, couple of teams that made the playoffs out of that division. you got mm -hmm. the Bills and the Patriots from last year. Who wins it? The Bills. The Bills. Josh to Diggs. That's all you need. Josh to Diggs. That's all you need. Yeah, a little bit of Gabriel Davis sprinkled in there as well. Uh-huh, just a little bit. Yeah, uh -huh. just a little bit. But I, I wish – I am excited to watch the Dolphins, though. Okay. I'm okay. Just, you, you got Tyreek Hill and then Tua. You think he, You think Tua is going to be the real deal with Tyreek? Absolutely. I st yeah. I still believe in Tua. Now – I believe in Tua more than Hurts. Really? Yep. Okay. 
Okay. So I will say this. With Tua, he's getting a lot of crap because uh, Tyreek has been saying all offseason, which you got to hype up your your guy. It yeah. makes sense. But he's been saying like, oh, yeah, Tua is the most accurate quarterback that I played with. Whoa, man. Hold on. You just played with an MVP, <laughs> a Super Bowl champion. Like what? Just Hold on. My home. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you look back at the stats, Tua actually had uh, two games last year that he completed over 80% of his passes. And the average is like just a little bit under 70%. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he had four games where it was over 70%. So it's like, I don't think the knock against Tua is he's not accurate. I think he is. It's the deep ball. And with Tyreek, hopefully that improves. Saw a little bit in the preseason, like a deep a little pass. here and there. You yeah, know? a little yeah. bit. But I think, I th- okay, the Dolphins, I could see it with the – new head coach now they are saying that they want to run the ball at least 30 times a game which means Tyreek is he going to get enough targets are they going to pass a lot with Tua I don't know I don't think they're going to really like light it up in the pass game too much Mm. but who knows but yeah I I I think the Bills Bills for sure Bills for sure I think we're on the same page with that um I think the only thing that we've disagreed with so far, uh, looking back at NFC and AFC, is the South. You had the Saints, I had the Bucks. No, you said East, Giants. I said Cowboys. Um, and then we agreed with everything else. Now, this is the toughest division to it, predict. It was. It was. <laughs> the AFC West, who you got? I mean, who, <laughs> who do you want to see or who's going to take it? <laughs> Uh, give me both. Who's gonna take it? Mahomes. Okay, and the Chiefs. Okay. All right, they're gonna take it. Okay? That's a fair pick. You got man, my man thrown from the side, behind his leg, behind his back. It's crazy. Okay. Who do I want to see? I want to see the Broncos take it. Okay. Yeah, they got Wilson, and I think that's gonna be that's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah. Um, the Chargers look good because you got Sherbert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Herbert, <laughs> which is cool. And I like their uniforms. For me, this was tough as well. No, okay. So you gave a lot of love to those three teams, but you didn't mention the Raiders. Do the Raiders have a shot? No. They made the playoffs last year. They beat the Chargers to beat to make it to the postseason. Without their head coach. It was a fluke. With like their star <laughs> receiver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could be a fluke. Uh it was a close game. Um mm-hmm. could have gone either way, but uh, yeah, it was without their head coach. It was without their star receiver having off the field issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first round picks, I think it, another cornerback got released, uh, Damon Arnett, Arnett. So I don't know. I mean, but I'm with you. I don't think it's the Raiders. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love the Raiders. <laughs> you though. just want to fight for them. You just wanted to fight for them. No, I did. I did. I, w- I wanted to uh, fight for Raider Nation that's watching this right now. I'm going to sh- actually have to go with the Chargers on this. I think. Mahomes losing Tyreek Hill is pretty big. Yeah. Now, I think Travis Kelsey in that sense is going to get like, I think he's going to break break the postseason record, not postseason, single season record for receptions by a mm-hmm. tight end. Like, he's just going to get targeted so much. And I know they got Juju and, and MVS and all them, but Chargers just, man, when they had that offseason in free agency, they just added – a lot of freaking pieces, man. They got Khalil Mack that they traded for. Uh, J.C. Jackson was the interception leader for the Patriots last year. Uh, another underrated defensive lineman, Sebastian Joseph Day. Um, and they added on to their uh, offensive line as well. Mm-hmm. I think it's just set up for them to... Yeah. For a 9-8 and eight team last year, that was just one or two plays away from making the playoffs. Add in a lot of these pieces. I mean, you're talking about... Especially like with a, Mac, like you said. So you think you think the Chargers are going to take it? I do. I'm a big Chargers believer this year. And if I had to pick a Super Bowl team from the AFC, it would be the Chargers. I'm probably being a little bit optimistic with the – a little bit over-optimistic with the Broncos. I just always go for the sleepers. No. Always go for the sleepers. Don't sleep on the Broncos. No. They it, got Wilson. Yeah. That's going to be dope. And the Broncos – Man, like they were just one quarterback away from having a great team. Like their mm-hmm. defense is good. They've got the weapons in Cortland Sutton, J- Jerry Judy. You've got the backs in Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon. 
it was just the quarterback play of Drew Locke and all those guys that were yeah. playing last year that didn't really do anything. And now you have Russell Wilson, who's going to bring consistency. Mm. Yeah, the Broncos could definitely play spoiler. Uh, but yeah, that is our uh, predictions. Again, to recap, uh, we had the NFC. Uh, I have the Packers, Bucks, Cowboys, Rams. Anthony has the Packers, Saints, Giants, Rams. Uh, and then the AFC, for both of us, it's the Bengals, Colts, and Bills, we agreed on. But for the West, got the Chiefs, I got the Chargers. Uh, we encourage you guys to leave your comments down below. Let us know uh, who you guys have winning those divisions. Mm -hmm. uh, to kind of wrap it up now, we've got the MVP. So we go from teams woo -woo. to player predictions. Okay. I, I I asked you to mention maybe one or two candidates. Like, who do you think is going to take it? And then maybe like two or three other runner-ups. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I would have to say, I can't believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe I'm saying this. I think uh, <clears throat> a runner up would be Matt Ryan. Yep. Whoa. Hold on. Okay. You Let me it. hear you out. Din -in -it, din -in -it. You heard it here first. <laughs> Top 10. <laughs> Matt Ryan. Yeah. 30 for 30. Jameis Winston. Oh, no. Uh, it's too far. <laughs> too far. Too far. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm excited to see what he does this year. Like, he has something to prove. He has a big old fat chip on his shoulder going into uh, Indianapolis. And I think the, the Falcons are going to miss out. So, I think I think he can be a runner-up. Who I, I think Matt Stafford is going to get an MVP. Because I just, I just think the Rams are going to win a Super Bowl this year. Man, so... Uh, Matt Ryan, that's bold. It is. That is very bold. Uh, I mean, former MVP that year that you emceed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, you're the good luck charm. Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, a lot of Falcons fans, we live in Atlanta, so we know this. Mm -hmm. Everybody was ready to get rid of Matt Ryan. I mean, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. to an extent, <clears throat> like whether you were like, oh, I am all on board to get rid of Matt Ryan since like before they went to the Super Bowl, people were saying that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, a lot of other people were like, man, I I kind of want to get rid of Matt Ryan, but for the most part, I, I kind of want to keep him. Um, I think with that chip on his shoulder of Falcons Nation not really wanting him, yeah, that, that does yeah. have, you know, a little bit of extra motivation to it. And Deshaun Watson, like I said earlier, being pursued by the Falcons, it's like, okay, you don't want me here. Yeah. Um but, I mean, if I was Matt Ryan, I would have, like, you know, if you're an athlete, you can say all you want, like, oh, we don't hear the noise, but you hear stuff, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> like. I just tune them out. <laughs> yeah, no. no. Um, I like it. Yeah. Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, runner-up. Matt Stafford, MVP. I like it. Uh, you know, I'll even give Joe Burrow a little run a runner-up as well. Okay. I'm not opposed to that as well. All QBs. All QBs. All QBs. I mean, it's been a QB dominant. Cooper yeah. Cup should have won last year, guys. Cooper Cup should have won. He showed his he showed his behind. I'm trying to be trying to be correct here. He showed he showed out last year. And he you're right. He should have. You mean showed his yeah. ass? <laughs> ass? Woo! Okay, I see what kind of freedom we have Dude, in here. Dude, rebranding time to football is edgy now. <laughs> it's edgy. <laughs> Yeah, Cooper Cup should have won. Cooper Cup should have – I don't know why he didn't, but, you know, whatever. Let's give it to another quarterback that had a really good season, but not to a player that had a historic season Yeah, at his position. Whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. We moved on, but we didn't. Um, what about you? My predictions. Runner-up. This is crazy, but I'm going to say Justin Jefferson on the Vikings. Okay. Like, he's just – we saw what happened with Cooper Cup. Mm -hmm. The offensive coordinator, Kevin O'Connell of the Rams, comes in as the head coach of the Vikings, um, and he's going to instill a pass-heavy offense. Like You're going to see Dalvin Cook be involved heavily in the receiving game. Kirk Cousins, maybe he's not as talented as Matt Stafford. I still, I'm actually more of a Kirk stand than a lot of other people. 
Um, I, I do think that he is talented, but his issue obviously has been, okay, he can't win those big games, get his teams yeah. to the playoffs. But, I mean, just st- statistically speaking, Kirk has everything, all the tools to make Justin Jefferson look good, look great. Um, and Jefferson has already talked about, hey, I want to get to 2,000 yards this year. And if the offensive coordinator, Kevin O'Connell, now the head coach, treats Jefferson like he's the next Cooper Cup, I mean, you could see a season where he's going to get 130 receptions, 140 receptions, close to 2,000 yards, maybe even like 15, 16 touchdowns. Like, he's going to be pretty good. So Now, did you say that's MVP or was that a runner-up? Oh, that's a runner-up because this is – dude, this is a quarterback award. Sadly, it is. (laughs) Like, it's going to be Jefferson – who might be like the best player mm-hmm. in general in general in football, but you know, it's gotta to go to a quarterback. And I think for me, it's gonna be Justin Herbert. I think he just gets better every single year. He does look good. He looks great. And uh oh gosh, who was it? Ryan Harris, a uh, former player in the NFL, said that he played with Peyton Manning, by the way. He played with Ben Roethlisberger. And he said recently, Justin Herbert is the best quarterback that I've seen play Hmm. i mean with you know he played with peyton manning now he played with manning and the broncos so the broncos manning like his last year was i don't know he was on his way out yeah i you know on his way to papa john's (laughs) by that point um oh gosh the ceo of papa john's is not the ceo you know papa john's had the whole like it's a whole scandal i don't know exactly what What? happened but something happened with the papa john's guy did they change the ingredients I think so, because it tastes better now. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> Woo-wee! I always um, love Papa John's. Anyway. Anyways. Um, but no, Justin Herbert, I, I mean, I make stat projections for you guys that are into fantasy football. He's the only guy that I projected to throw for 5,000 yards this year. And Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, they're always great, stable mm-hmm. receivers to throw yeah. to. Mike Williams is pretty much could be a wide receiver one somewhere else. You have him as a wide receiver, too. That's awesome. You can have an upgrade uh, at tight end and Gerald Everett, uh, and they're going to be slinging the ball a lot. I know that their defense improved, so they might have a little bit more, you know, three and outs, some stops. So Herbert may not pass a lot, but um, against the AFC West, where the Broncos got better, um, the Raiders got better mm-hmm. in the past game, they're going to have a lot of quarterback battles. So um, I say Herbert. Okay. I think that's my my MVP. And I think that's a solid choice. Yeah. Uh, but that is it for this episode of Time to Football. Again, thank you guys for your constant support. We rebranded this year. Uh, we're going to be doing an NFL recap show every Monday with Anthony. Uh, and then we're going to have an NFL preview show every Thursday. So the time that this video is released, um, there is no need for a recap show, really. So this isn't the day or the time that it's released every single week. Uh, instead, it's going to be released every Monday afternoon. Okay. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah. And then Thursday afternoon is the NFL preview show. Anthony, any last words? I appreciate you joining this show, by the way. Nah, thank you, brother. Hey, go giants. That's uh, okay. We'll cut them off right there. <laughs> um, but no, I appreciate you guys joining us for this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe, check out our fantasy football channel. If you guys are missing out on fantasy football, want to go ahead and, Uh, Get your your content and your advice from there. Uh, With all that said, thank you guys for joining us. I'll see you next time. Take care.